Hey Photoshoppers, today I'm going to go over the ruler tools for Photoshop CS5. The ruler tool is a measurement and straightening tool that allows you to take direct measurements of your image and use the tool to straighten and crop your image. This will come in handy in two ways, when you are looking to straighten out an image and taking measurements of your image to scale. On the toolbar, click the eyedropper tool, then click on the ruler tool in the submenu. You can do this with your keyboard by pressing and holding shift, then pressing the letter I until the tool cycles to the ruler. Click and drag the area you want to straighten. If you are clicking and dragging horizontally, it's best to use the horizon if you have one. If not, try to find a straight horizontal edge. If you are straightening vertical, try to find a vertical edge like a building. To make your operations more precise, click and drag the markers at either end of the ruler you created, and when you are ready, click the straighten button at the top ruler panel. The image will not just straighten, it will automatically crop. Now if you don't like the way it cropped, simply go to your history window and click one step back, or press and hold command for the Mac, control for the PC, and press Z. You will be taken to a straightened but uncropped image. Now if you want to take measurements, it's a little more complicated. Go to Window at the top menu and click the Measurements Log option near the bottom. This will open a new window. Now you want to determine how long your measurements are. On the top menu, go to Analysis, then go to Measurement Scale. You get an option. Pixel length is self-explanatory. One pixel equals. Change this to whatever you want. Logical length means the amount the first length is equal to. One pixel equals five. Logical units means the conversion from pixels. One pixel equals five inches. You can type in inches, meters, or something else. If you click and drag on the image, you create custom measurements. Click record measurements to make a recording, and the info will display in the window below. That's pretty much all there is to this tool, but you will most likely find yourself using it if you took a slightly rotated picture. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or requests for Photoshop, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. Please also rate, comment, and subscribe below.